Is your motorhome too big for you? Uh, let's get into this one. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So a slight departure from my usual content, of motorcycle content that is. Uh, I'm talking about motorhomes and well, I suppose the experience that I've got with my motorhome, which I bought a couple of years ago, and is it too big? Now, mine is about seven meters long. So uh, if recent reports are to be believed, any motorhome over sort of six meters, uh, you lose in value really quickly. I suppose that's only relevant if you ever come to sell your motorhome. So this is not about the value of it. It's really about whether it's just too big and whether it's too cumbersome. Now, what I've found is that internally, when you've got you know two or three people in there, even though it's a six berth uh, motorhome, and when you've got two or three people in there and a dog, it gets quite cramped very quickly. So I suppose if you're trying to spend all your time in there, it's going to be a bit claustrophobic. However, what I'm talking about is the practicality of owning a long motorhome. Where are you going to park it? Uh, will it fit on your drive at home? Are you going to be able to go to all the places that you really want to get to with a larger motorhome? And the short answer is that you can, but you might find it a little bit difficult. You might find it a little bit restrictive with parking or in more frequent cases these days, they actually make you pay more for parking. Now, even if you're only taking up one width of a parking slot uh, somewhere, just because the, the actual length of it, you go to some parking areas and they'll say, if it's over a certain uh, length, you have to pay uh, X, Y, Z, which can be quite pricey for a day. So it can be quite difficult to park up these things. It can be difficult to even find places to park your motorhome these days. And also you're gonna pay a lot more for it campsites in the uk have suddenly gone up in price as well uh, for overnight stays and also the electricity the electric hookup as well is getting more expensive because fuel prices have just gone up as well so there are there are pluses and minuses now certainly from a family point of view i've definitely thought that it's a great buy having a bigger motorhome and you know i i love it for what it is i call it the breaking bad camper because it's a bit dated but i really like it but because it's so long and it's only got a single rear axle as well it's very difficult to hang anything off the back i wanted to put a, a moped or a scooter or a small motorcycle on the back just to hang it on a rack or something and i'm very limited to the weight that I can take so I can get a trailer or something but that just makes the vehicle even longer and then you have problems in reversing that vehicle with a trailer well basically you can't so the idea is not to have a trailer just have a rack on the back and I'm kind of limited to what I can do if I had a twin axle uh, motorhome then I would be able to do it a lot easier so my struggle has always been trying to find a really lightweight moped that I could put on the back and then if I need to get out and about and I wanted a motorized form of transport uh, then I could just use that. Alternatively I would just use pedal power just uh, strap a couple of bicycles to the back and away I go and that would probably be better for the old waistline if you know what I mean. Now is a bigger motorhome necessarily a better bet for you? So I suppose what kind of motorhoming are you going to do? Do you have a bigger family? Uh, do you have a dog? That kind of thing. So anything like that where you've got more people People and you're going away for a longer period of time and you've got animals in the mix I would say bigger is going to be more comfortable for you and you would sacrifice the inconvenience of trying to park it just for the the comfort of being inside the motorhome however if you're just a, a couple let's say or you're just a single person well definitely go for the smaller vehicle either go for a smaller motorhome or a smaller camper van or just a convert your own van and just make it as you know small and compact as possible and just go very lightweight you say if it was for me if i was buying it just for myself and if you watch my videos from when i first got it i did say at the time if it was just for me i would have gone for a van let's say a medium to long wheelbase van i could have put a bike on the back or uh, inside and just have let's say a single bed in there very basic uh, and away i go but when you're factoring other people or family or pets then of course you need a bit more space than that so is having a bigger motorhome the best bet for you right now possibly not especially as the trend seems to be going towards the smaller motorhomes or shorter motorhomes i should say or smaller camper vans or just the self-build van conversions that seems to be the way to go i personally like the bigger motorhome but i kind of know that there are limitations and i do pick the areas in which i go and i do pick the routes in which i go as well so 
Is it the best bet for you? Well, I suppose you're going to have to decide that for yourself. But for me, yeah, there are some sacrifices that you have to make and there are a lot of inconveniences, but there are also lots of pluses as well. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you found that useful and I'll catch you again in another video coming very soon. Maybe motorcycle related, maybe motorhome related. Catch you again. Ta-da. Thank you.